All right, so I just wanted to take a little while here today uh, just to go through and talk about listing on Boat Setter as an owner. I haven't really seen a whole lot of people talk about this from the owner's perspective at least. Uh, so I just wanted to, to go through uh, the rental that I did. Uh, this was a couple years ago, but um, everything is still pretty much the same. So this was a 22 day rental that I did. Um, it's still the only rental that I've actually done on Boat Setter. I now transition to having uh, like water sports charter business where we take people out by the hour doing water skiing, wakeboarding, stuff like that. But Boat Setter was a pretty good way for me to kind of get introduced to uh, the space and get things going. So this rental, um, I have the breakdown, I'll go through all the numbers and everything like that. But it was a family that was coming in from New York City to a rental house. They wanted to have a boat for the month. Um, I had just got a new engine put in my boat and I was leaving for college within a couple of weeks. Uh, so I saw this request come through. It seemed like a pretty good opportunity to kind of rent the boat out in one shot and not have to you know, deal with the day to day of different renters and people doing stuff like that. Um, I had the boat listed on there offering captain services, which is mostly what I was looking to do and what I do now. Um, but I also had it on there with the option of just having um, non-captain rentals, which I didn't really plan on doing, but because this was such a long-term thing, I decided to give it a shot. So basically what I did was, first of all, I just kind of tried to screen the gentleman who was looking to rent as much as possible, just asking about the boating experience. Um, he said he had had boats before, so that was good. He had the license, everything like that. So from there, I once I was comfortable enough um, kind of accepting the rental, we started to go into basically what was kind of a negotiation. Um, since he was renting for so long, he did want a little bit better price on it. I think it was listed for around 600 or so a day. So we ended up getting down to where he was paying 250 a day. Uh, usually boat setter takes 40%. In this case, because the daily rate wasn't as high as they wanted, they ended up taking a higher percentage, which I'll go through here, but it ended up leaving me with about 130 a day, which at the time was fine for me uh, since I wasn't gonna be using the boat and it was money to, to kind of help recoup from that season. But you know, now I, I probably wouldn't be doing that, but um, it was a good way to, to get started at least. All right, so I'm gonna go old fashioned in a second here and break out the whiteboard, but this is just the uh, booking listing itself there that shows some of the numbers and uh, the 22 day rental setup. All right, quick whiteboard breakdown here, real basic, just in the, the backyard college setup, but um, these, this original price started out at 15400 That was based off a 700 a day for a non-captain rental rate times 22 days. Um, after we took out the discount of 9900 uh, we ended up at 5500 So um, that was based off the $250 a day that we agreed on, which is pretty low, but uh, that's, that's what we came up with. Then from that 5,500, Boat Setter takes $2,640 for your marketing to get you some business, insurance, all that stuff, which left me with uh, $2,860. So about half of that. Usually it's a little bit higher, but since this was a lower daily re rental rate than they wanted to see, their percentage was a little bit more. So it was 130 bucks a day. At the time it helped cover some bills and it was a time when I wasn't gonna be able to use the boat. Um, you, know, you definitely could make more money if you are to um, have a captain's license and be taking people out. That rate is gonna be quite a bit higher. Also, if you're just doing you know, rentals for one or two days, non-captained, uh, you're still gonna have a higher rate. But for me, the hassle of doing that and some of the types of renters on there that just are not qualified at all to to be really taking a boat out um, 
made that not the, the way I wanted to go, but for a one-time thing, this worked pretty well, and um, it was a good way to good way to learn a little bit more about the industry. So I think there's a few different directions you could go with that if you're looking to rent your boat out a couple times a month to uh, maybe cover the payments or maybe you want to dabble with taking people out. It's a good place to start. Definitely not easy money and you got to factor in your travel time, your extra maintenance and everything else that's going to come along with it in addition to their rental fees. But um, I, think it's a, I think it's a pretty solid platform overall and I just wanted to kind of share a little bit of my experience on, on using it just since I haven't seen a whole lot out there.